Hey guys, it's Maylee. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you guys along and showing you guys some photo shoot ideas. I know with quarantine, it's been hard to get out and go take some photos. So today I want to give you guys some ideas of photo shoots you can do at home all by yourself. And even after things start to open up more, these are still ideas that you can use if you want to go take some photos with friends. Most of these photos are going to be shot on my iPhone. There was one photo shoot where we use my camera, but you can totally use your iPhone or whatever phone you have. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting some of the pictures on there. I'll have my handle below and on the screen right here. And without further ado, let's get right onto the video. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go take some photos. And step one of taking photos is to do my makeup. Okay, makeup done. Now let's go do hair. Okay, hair is done, and I put on my outfit. I'm just wearing this Brandy Melville dress. Honestly, I feel like one of the most important parts of taking photos is the outfit. I mean, don't get me wrong. If sweatpants is the vibe and you have some cute sweatsuit, like, you do you, girl. Like, go for it. But for this first photo shoot, I am thinking to take pictures near this, like, flower garden near my house. The flowers are blue, so I thought I'd coordinate a little bit by wearing a, like, darker blue dress. And this is the thing that I'm most excited for. I am actually going to put in some colored contacts. I have these colored contacts um, that I got a bit ago and I am just obsessed with color contacts. I think they're so fun to play around with and they can make your photo look really cool just because it changes your eye color and at least for me I have dark brown eyes so when my eyes are a different color it is very noticeable. So I have a few different colors. I have a green one, a gray one, and then this blue one. I think for today I'm gonna use the blue colored contacts. So these are by the brand Neo Vision and they're the one day lens. What's really nice about these colored contacts I have is that they also have the prescription because I wear contacts usually on a daily basis. Since these also have like my prescription I can see with them as well so I don't need to wear glasses. These are what they look like and again these are the blue ones so I'm gonna go put these in. All right, and I am back. I put in the colored contacts. Let me know what you guys think. As I said, I love playing around with colored contacts. I think they make a huge difference for me. Like, look at that, guys. My eyes are blue. I feel like they make my freckles really pop out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. Okay, so the first destination is going to be the hydrangea flowers. So let's go over there. Okay, so we just got to the location. My brother is going to take pictures of me. So yeah, literally just going to be that bush right there. Um, Let's go take some pictures. Okay, so for the second shoot idea, this one's really great because you can do it at home from the comfort of your own room. And that's just finding some kind of nice background. So for me, I'm going to use my collage wall. Obviously, you don't have to make a collage wall, but I think it looks really nice as a background. If you're interested, I'll have the video below showing you guys how I made this particular collage wall. But yes, I just turned on the stick-on like strip lights that I bought from Amazon. And then I also have a mirror, so I'll just be taking some kind of like outfit pictures. I was recently watching Gossip Girl, so I was getting some inspo from that. So I pulled out this white um, Ralph Lauren polo and on the bottom I'm wearing this purple pleated skirt. I just want to go with more of a preppy kind of style so yes um, I'm just going to use my iPhone and take some mirror pictures. Oh also when you're taking these make sure that your background is somewhat nice looking because my bed was not made and it was very dirty before this and I felt like that didn't really give a good vibe for the picture so I just made my bed made it a little neater so yes. Okay, so for this next photo, I'm gonna be going outside to my backyard 
and on the way to my backyard we have this like staircase and I think it'd look really cool if I took a photo from like a down angle so I put my phone at the bottom of the stairs and like have my phone angled up so it's looking up towards me if that makes sense it'll make sense once you guys see it but I have my phone tripod right here this thing is super handy if you want to take photos of yourself that way you don't have to have someone else taking photos of you like I know that for me I just sometimes like don't have an extra person to take photos of me or sometimes I just feel bad if I keep asking someone to take photos so yeah if you just have a phone tripod it's a lot easier because you can take them yourself let me sit you guys down so I can show you what this tripod looks like by the way I'm in my home gym so that's why there's like gym equipment behind me but basically it's just this tripod like this so you can have your phone like this way what's it called um horizontal but i want to take my photos vertically because i'm just going to use a front facing camera so in order to do that there we go you just have to turn it this way so it's really great you can have the photos vertical for instagram and for the tripod it extends pretty long which is really nice so that way you can get a photo of you standing up and my favorite part is that it comes with a remote you can use a self timer like you know the one directly on your phone but i like that it has a remote so that i don't have to keep going back and forth like pressing the self timer running to where i want to take the photo and then going back and forth it's just a lot easier if you have the remote so that you can stay in your spot and just snap away at photos so yes i'm gonna bring you guys down to the stairs and let's take some photos and in case you're wondering for outfit this dress is from princess polly and these shoes they're just like wedges um these i got from japan oh my goodness my tan lines i hope that does not show up in the photos too much Let's see how it goes. <laughs> And then for this last one, I'm going to be taking it on my balcony, like right at the corner of my balcony. I've seen some photos on Instagram where people take photos on balconies or like rooftops, like right at that corner. And I think that just like sitting on the edge or standing on the edge, that angle creates a really nice look for the photos. So whatever you have at home, if you have a balcony or if there's a rooftop not too far away from you, I'm going to be using my home balcony because I absolutely love the view that I have from my home. So I want to put that in the background. I'm debating whether I should wear the same Princess Polly dress or if I should wear this blue tube top that I have. I'm going to take some pictures first with the Princess Polly dress and then maybe I'll come back upstairs and then change into the tube top. The things you do for photos, am I right? <laughs> oh, also, I'm going to put some of these butterfly clips in my hair. I got a huge pack off of Amazon and they were just like five or seven bucks off of Amazon and I love these. I'm absolutely obsessed with butterfly clips. I think they look so cute. So I think I'm going to do these dark pink ones. Oh, I love that. They're so cute. The flyaways are going crazy. I'm going to put something on these flyaways to make them all flatter, but Yes, let's go take some photos. Alright, that is it for today's video. I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration for some new photo shoot ideas. I had a ton of fun taking these photos and I am super happy with how they turned out. It really goes to show that you don't have to have some extravagant location or a professional photographer. Again, most of these photos were shot on my iPhone. Let me know which photo ended up being your guys' favorite. And again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'll be posting the pictures. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. And until next time, I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!